racer at the Reno National Championship Air Races. This is why we're flying this airplane. It was returned to flying status by the staff at EAA at the Wings Hangar. It had been in the museum for many, many years, but because of its role in Pearl Harbor and its significance, it was decided to bring it out, refurbish it, and fly it today. It was in Pearl Harbor at the time Pearl Harbor was bombed, headed for a foreign government. Because of that situation at Pearl Harbor, the ship of the beach aircraft returned home. There were six that were going to die. Only 13 were built. It stayed in a, in a depot in Southern California. It was returned into civilian status, surplus from the U.S. inventory. Paul Poparazzi went out to visit Chapter 1 at the famed Clay Bob Airport in 1964. He was so taken by this airplane that he bought it for the EAA. Paul Poparazzi and others flew this aircraft at air shows until its retirement back in 1988. Right here at Ashcott, thank you. Founder and our friend up at PAA Heaven, Paul Poperesny, three years ago, removed from the museum, refurbished, and Paul Poperesny was given the opportunity after the refurbishment to do the first engine start on that airplane. We fly it because it was one of his favorites. We fly it because of the significance at Pearl Harbor. We fly it because it is the only one flying in the world today. There is only one other that exists. It's at the Museum Aeronautical in Lima, Peru. The North American airplane in front of you was built in 1940 as a fighter to be sold to our allies. It has a 1,200 horsepower right engine. It has similar systems. It is the SMJ T6, but it also has many differences. The wingspan is tremendously shorter. It's a joy to fly, says Rick Sinkree. It has a rapid rate of roll and a phenomenal climb. Only 13 were made, and uh, two, several of those, about four or five, were actually two place aircraft. Now, the Peruvians operated this along with our Army Air Force. Rick's going to be coming in for a landing. We'll turn it over to uh, Verizon as the government employees insurance company. GEICO is grateful to our servicemen and women and their families for their contributions to our sacrifice in the defense of our nation and our freedom. The aircraft flown today by the GEICO Sky Pipers are the SNJ, built by North American aircraft, through a series of military formations and maneuvers onto our past, present, and future military aviators. More American combat pilots trained in this single-engine two-seat aircraft than any other world.